Oh my god. It's like looking in a mirror. No, it isn't, Gene. Who's Gene? I already can't tell who's who. Take that stuff off. Lynn, get in here and settle this. Don't call your mother Lynn. What? Oh, hey, whoa, travel size Bob. Burger lovers and cartoon addicts, today let's get into the world of Bob's Burgers, where every burger comes with a side of quirky humor and heartfelt family moments. Join us as we explore the origin of this beloved animated series, its unique style, and why it's captured the hearts of fans around the globe. Grab a seat at the counter and get ready for a juicy adventure through the world of Bob's Burgers. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more content. And what if the Nazis get us and it's all we have of our family? <laughs> 18th birthday party. So take your time and think about what would make the perfect party. I'd like it. And about two hours into the party, I want there to be a moment where I see Jimmy Jr. across the room mm. and I remember it forever. Uh, kids, stop doing that. Acknowledge Mr. Fish Oda right now. Are you a superhero? Can I feel your hair? Stop. Our journey begins on January 9th, 2011, when Bob Burgers made his debut on Fox. Created by Lauren Bouchard, this animated sitcom introduced us to the Belcher family and their struggling but beloved burger joint. Led by the ever optimistic and slightly eccentric Bob Belcher, voiced by the talented John Benjamin, the series quickly established itself as a fresh and unconventional addition to the animated landscape. I mean, who needs fancy restaurants and Michelin stars when you can have a burger joint run by a lovable but slightly dysfunctional family? At a time when the cartoon landscape seemed to lack a certain flavor, Bob's Burger served up a perfect blend of humor, heart, and relatability, filling a gap that fans didn't even know existed. One of the key ingredients ingredients that sets Bob's Burgers apart is its electric cast of characters. From the offbeat Belcher family to the colorful residents of their seaside town, each character brings their own unique flavor to the mix. There's Linda, the spirited and melodramatic matriarch, Tina, the awkward but endearing eldest daughter with the penchant for writing erotic fanfiction, Jean, the eccentric and enthusiastic middle child with the passion for music. Luis, the mischievous and cunning youngest daughter with the penchant for mischief. And of course, the lovable but slightly oddball regulars who frequent the burger joint. Why walk into a regular burger joint when you can have a family of burger flipping misfits? Anytime, come on, Bob, focus! Right, 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 right. Let me just take one more pill. Hope you get your lost manhood back, Dad. Take care of our father, strange nerd! No funny business! I'm not a nerd, I'm a video game enthusiast! Now, Tina, anyone can tie a cherry stem with their tongue. Let's see what you can do with this banana peel. Get, get it in there. Gene, honey, I, I think he's sleeping. I, I have to go to school! Shh, shh, just hold still. Oh, is this drool or sweat? It's both. Your father is a very moist sleeper. <laughs> Oh, look at my two boys. At its core, Bob's Burgers is more than just a show about a family running a burger restaurant. It's a heartfelt and relatable exploration of love, family, and the everyday struggles of life. The humor is quirky, the jokes are clever, and the writing is filled with genuine warmth and affection. Whether it's Bob's deadpan delivery, Linda's melodramatic outbursts, or the kids' hilarious antics, there's something for everyone to love about this animated gem. Viewers find themselves nodding along with the Belcher's family's quirks, perhaps seeing shades of their own family family dynamics in the mix. It's this relatability that makes Bob's Burgers not just a cartoon, but a mirror reflecting the absurdity and mishaps of everyday life. Since its premiere, Bob's Burgers has cultivated a devoted fan base that continues to grow with each passing season. Its unique blender of humor, heart, and quirky charm has struck a chord with viewers of all ages, earning critical acclaim and a slew of awards along the way. Fans can't get enough of the Belcher family's zany adventures, and they're quick to spread the word to anyone who will listen. I mean, who needs mainstream appeal when you can have a cult following of burger enthusiasts? We don't have the logos on our bags. That's what's going to be on camera. I'm on it. Why'd you draw a rocket? It's not a rocket. It's a fish. Okay, why would you draw a fish? It's easy to draw. <laughs> so is a hamburger. Or my name. Looks like a Jesus fish. Bob? Yeah. Hey, you are Bob. <laughs> you are definitely not a cop. Okay, uh, thanks. Here are your burgers. Hey, wh what are they saying about me up there? Uh, that you'd be, um, hot. Hot? Like Vin Diesel hot? N no, like hot tempered. Oh, like a hot guy with a bad temper? Whether it's the relatable family dynamics, the endearing characters, or the witty writing, there's something about Bob's Burgers that keeps fans coming back for more, like a perfectly cooked burger that's just too good to resist. As Bob's Burgers continues to delight audiences around the world, its legacy only continues to grow. With multiple Emmy Awards under its belt and a dedicated fan base that shows no signs of slowing down, it's clear that this animated sitcom has secured its place 
in the pantheon of television classics. So whether you're a longtime fan or just discovering the joys of Bob's Burgers for the first time, one thing's for sure, there's always a seat at the counter for you. Bob, do we have any toothpicks down here? Yeah, over there. Pretty ones? What do you mean pretty ones, Lynn? The nice ones. How's the B&B going, Linda? Oh, it's great! Why? What'd you hear? What? Nothing. I bet it's magical up there. I picture it like England. It is, Teddy, it is! <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, hi, Louise. Oh, oh hi, just... Mom. Hello. You're holding my stuff. Hello, my little lady. Hello, Mom. What are I you was... doing with my stuff? I was just welcoming our newest bed and breakfast guest into your room. Your face is fat. No, it's not. It's perfect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's that? La, la, la. Living it up. Okay. We each shovel snow into our pants. First person to give up, get hyperthermia, or die, loses. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ugh. Mm. Mm. I'm fine. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I don't feel anything. This is great. I love your ski suit, Dr. Yap. What size are you? I'm a men's petite six. Ooh, big boy. You want to swap later? Swapsies. Clear one down to Chimichanga. Hey, Bob. Let's look for a secluded part of the woods so we can be alone. No thanks. So okay. tell us what keeps you coming back to Bob's Burgers. Is it the relatable family dynamics, the witty humor, or perhaps something else entirely? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining me on a quick journey through the world of Bob's Burgers. If you enjoyed this dive into the Belcher family's burger fueled adventures, be sure to hit that like button and let us know your favorite Bob's Burgers moments in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more animated escapades and quirky humor. Until next time, stay hungry, stay quirky, and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. There's a rumor you make your burgers with human remains from the crematorium next door. Hmm. I wonder how a rumor like that gets started. It's made with human remains from the crematorium next door. <gasps> Who knows? Kids say crazy stuff. Am I going to put on the burger suit and hand these out in front? Oh, no. We're going straight to the source with these. You're going to be handing these out in Jimmy Pesto's restaurant. Whoa. That's right, whoa. These samples are going to get us our rent money tonight so we can keep this place. And I still need to get some of his hair. I'm going to go get it right now. Want to come? We want to stay here. Forever. We want to stay here forever and ever. We want to be buried here. Buried here. Knock, knock. Who's there? I got detention. Oh, come on. Yeah. But I don't want to beat myself up about it since it's really dad's fault. <gasps> it's your history report. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. We're gonna, we know what we're going to need you. you will take all the help we can get around here. No, 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 no. <gasps> Linda. Did uh, you know that it only takes two pounds of pressure to drive someone's nose bone into their brain? That's what? Two pounds. That's it, Dad. Why are you telling me this, Louise? Revenge. Revengerine, revengerine, revengerine. Cut it out, Gene. Now listen, Gene, I'm going to have trouble cutting through the cartilage at first. Mm-hmm. Ah. While I'm doing ah. this, just think ah. about your art. Okay. All right, ready? Ninja robot, ninja robot, ninja robot. One, two, ah. Hey, kids. 